Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot and Astrology. This is Holly. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I upload content. Good news for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be having my website out on June 7th. It's going to be a premiere, uh, probably a premiere uh, video maybe like a live or something like that but once the website is up the first five people to sign up for my tarot card class in September is going to get tuition for free and there's going to be a lot of goodies and a lot of buy one get one freeze that you don't want to miss out on it's not going to last for very long it's just a way of me to, to get to know you guys in regards to the tarot class and also tell you thank you for all the support that you guys have provided for me and just being a part of my community and allowing me to speak my heart and my light to you guys. I apologize for the background noise. I'm out in my kitchen and by my living room and my dog is, I have a pit bull bulldog mix and she snores so loud. But in order for me to be able to get these videos out tonight, I had to come out here because my room is not available to me right now. So I just want to say I'm sorry for the background noise ahead of time. Uh, this is going to be a full moon reading for the sign of Taurus. I don't know about you guys, but I've been noticing a lot of energy in my house that's ruled by, or my 12th house that's ruled by Taurus. I'm a Gemini rising. Um, there's been so many planets in your first house, or in the house of you, Taurus. So how have you been feeling? Let me know in the comment box below. We've had a stellium of planets just pass through. And right now, Jupiter, the planet of luck, luck and expansion and blessings and optimism has been in your first house for the last year. And it's it's at its 29th degree. And um, it's a big deal because, you know, Venus is also there. She's about to leave your first house. She's conjunct with Jupiter. Venus likes being in, in Taurus. That's her favorite place to be because Taurus is about... What is it that I have? What is it that I that I have that I am going to need? What is it um, that I can provide? And it's a very reliable, receptive, um, maternal energy, paternal energy. Okay. And um, this actually, this full moon is happening at two degrees on May twenty third at about eight a.m. Pacific Standard Time. <clears throat> So the two degrees um, represents a Taurin degree, so that's yours. That's a degree that is involving you. And like I was saying, the sign of Taurus is about being grounded and it's about what, what you can see, you know, tangible, practical results with. It's about living off the earth. It's about um, what do I have that I'm going to utilize and and, you know, really work towards my health and um, what, what am I putting in my body, what am I eating, stuff like that, right? So you might be noticing that this torrent energy is really highlighting your chart. Um, like I was saying, Venus in its conjunct of Taurus in your first house as they're both about to leave. And in the 29th degree of, of that first house, in the 29th degree is the very last degree. So it's like finishing up its business. Jupiter will be finishing up his business and he's going to move to your third house or your second house ruled by Gemini here pretty soon. <clears throat> but, you know, Venus and Jupiter are all also sextiling Neptune and Pisces in your 11th house. <clears throat> and then as, you know, when Venus moves into Gemini, she's going to be sext or she's going to be trining um, the house of your house of Aquarius, which is your 10th house of you know, public standing, career, reputation, you know, your relationship with your bosses, and Pluto is, is also in that planet, you know, um, transforming it. So there's so much Tauran energy, there's so much energy in general, um, but with the Venus and Jupiter conjunction in its sextiling Neptune and Pisces in your 11th house, Pisces ruling your 11th house is your your hopes and your dreams are very important to you because Pisces rules is is a very dreamy empathetic um, nurturing um, dedicated you know a, a zodiac sign and it rules your 11th house of 
hopes and dreams and your social standing and social media and um, your, your relationship and your friendship circles. So it's going to be sextiling that right as it leaves, okay, the Venus and Jupiter. And, and Venus and Jupiter like being together. They like to expand things. They like to bless you. Venus loves to be in Taurus in your first house of, you know, your, your, your chart ruler is Venus. So it likes to be there. So it's going to be bring a lot of blessing in regards to your hopes and dreams. Okay, so right now would be a really great time for you to dream big because that Sagittarius energy is the archer and it goes for its goals anyways. It's very optimistic. It's a very loving sign of all things and all people, right? And adventures and it has spirit and it's optimistic. So really, I feel like... It is a full moon, but it's also one to manifest too, because it's the beginning of a new energy with um, Jupiter moving out of that second house or your first house into your second. Excuse me, sorry. It's really late right now, so. All right, so like I was saying, Venus is also going to be moving out of your first house that same day, and it's going to be moving into your second house of possessions and finances. The way you make money, your self-worth to money, your, your values towards money and towards yourself and what you feel like you deserve, okay? So Jupiter's moving into that, into that house, and it's going to be very, very awesome, okay? Because it's going to be Jupiter and Venus are moving into that, but that same day on the 23rd, it's Venus first. 25th is Jupiter. Don't miss my, my Jupiter and Gemini video because that's going to be a really good one. It's going to be coming out in the next few days. Um, but for you guys, your, your um, finances are going to be ex expanding and the way that you make money is going to be expanding. And it might be um, in regards to your status in the world. Maybe you're going to become your own boss, right? Because Pluto is in that house. Gemini is going to be trining Pluto in that, that house of career and reputation. And also, you know, the Neptune in Pisces and also Saturn being in Pisces too as well. So it could be happening during, over social media. Maybe your friends start to buy from you and you have like some kind of um, following in regards to your friends too. Or, you know, some kind of political group or something like that in those regards. Okay, I'm going to get your guys' tarot card. I'm going to clarify and then I'm going to get an oracle card card as well. Ace of Wands, new passion, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Sagittarius is a Sagittarius full moon, right? It's clarified with the Nine of Cups. That's Rider Waite's favorite card. Why? I feel like the reason that it's his favorite card is because he... It's like you're on your way with the Nine of Cups being here. You're on your way to emotional satisfaction and you're bringing the people in that matter to celebrate with you and it's a very receptive and permanent energy like these people that you bring into your life or these relationships that you have they're going to last forever and who doesn't want a great support system right who doesn't need that in their life to thrive but the ace of wands here it's new passion it's it's a fire lighting within you right with this full moon in sagittarius this fire lighting within you maybe something that you planted some kind of seed you planted six months ago because this, a full moon is a culmination of um you know something that you planted six months ago so think about it have you did you start something new did you have a passion that you brought into play finally or you're going to now because you've done the inner work right with all those planets in your first house you've had to do a lot of the work to show the world who you really are right maybe um, you've allowed venus to bless you while she's there okay and bring real real results to you you guys also got sorry that's the wrong one you guys also got mountain okay Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Remaining cautious just reminds me of, you know, sometimes we get excited, right? I mean, especially with Jupiter on the move from your first house, it's been blessing you. And the way that the world views you and the way that you view the world, the way you navigate the world has been really truly blessed with Jupiter being in there, Venus being in there, the moon, the new moon that just happened, you know, May 7th. 
and um, so there's been so much happening in your first house it's it's, it's pretty much transformed you at this point um, so you might get get a little bit excited and maybe you might start thinking that you know nothing can phase you and you nothing can stop you now especially with that nine of cups energy it's easy to get lost in um, the positivity of it all and then kind of throw caution to the wind and not be um, aware of what's going on around you because you're just so happy but you're protected okay you're very protected now and the universe is is unfolding in, in certain ways for you so that you have success but um, be forever cautious because you can't always you can't always um, trust everybody okay so those are the advice cards that I get for you and um, I hope that I will see you guys in your Jupiter and Gemini videos if you haven't yet subscribe I have my vid my website coming out in the next two weeks on June 7th it's going to be some kind of either live debut or maybe it'll be, you know, a deb debut and a mini debut in one of your guys' horoscope readings or tarot card readings. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but the website's going to be having a lot of goodies. Buy one, get one free goodies. Tarot card readings as low as $5. It's a way of me to say thank you for the support and the continued support for of my channel, okay? And also, the first five people to sign up for my tarot card class in September will get tuition for free. So if you don't want to miss that, hit the notification bell. I appreciate you. Let me know in the comment box below how this full moon is treating you. And I will see you guys in the Jupiter and Gemini video. Take care. Bye.